Through unimaginable heartache, <laughs> Lorraine and David Conway are sharing the trauma of losing a child in the hope it saves others. She's just a beautiful nature, beautiful little girl. Three-year-old Brittany suffered a painful but preventable death after swallowing a button battery in July. The first sign something was wrong was when she started vomiting and complained of a sore throat. I had given her a chopper chop and I actually thought that she'd swallowed, eaten it and it had scratched the back of her throat. She was first diagnosed with food poisoning by a GP and then with a viral infection by a hospital emergency doctor. I, I showed him the extent of her chest pain. I asked him for an X-ray and he said we will monitor her. Brittany Conway was sent home. But when she started bleeding, she was rushed back to hospital nine days after swallowing the battery. An X-ray finally picked it up. It had burnt through from her esophagus into her aorta. Despite numerous surgeries, the three-year-old died 13 days later. The house is so quiet without her. Noosa mum Andrea Shoesmith has been fighting for legislation, restricting the use of button batteries after losing her daughter Summer Steer in 2013. It's devastating because it's been seven years of fighting and it's not, it's not that it's for nothing, but it's no one's listening. We've had three fatalities. That's three too many. The Australian Competition and Consumer Commission has drafted world first regulations on the products and packaging which will be handed to the federal government by the end of the year. We can't wait any longer. This needs to happen now and fast. Before any more young lives are lost. There's no other parent has to go through this again. Annie Gaffney, ABC News, Gold Coast.